Welcome to Thrifty Garage. In today's video, we'll be installing a farm gate, or a tube gate, or a pipe gate. They go by lots of names. We'll be installing this gate on a metal post. Most often these are installed on a wooden post. You can usually drill in and install a lag bolt, or these same type of bolts in a wooden post, but we'll be doing it in a metal post, so it'll be a little bit different. Tools required for this project, or what we used for this project, was a cordless drill. We ended up going through three batteries. They were partially used, and it is an older drill, so the life may not be optimal. We also had a tape measure, a hammer, a nail, a crescent wrench, and a sawzall. Additional tools that might be useful would be a sharpie to mark with, a socket wrench set, and a center punch. And on our tools we use list, we also use WD-40. On the first hole here, we used a quarter inch bit and then stepped it up uh, directly to the larger three quarter inch bit. Lining this up was kind of tricky. We kind of just eyeballed it and, and did a lot of measurements to double check and make sure we were going in the right direction. In the end, it worked out perfect. Uh, no issues with alignment whatsoever. This three quarter inch bit chuck worked out good. It was just a little bit bigger than the bolt size. Um, so it was exactly the size we needed. On this first hole, we used a quarter inch bit and then stepped it directly up to the three quarter inch bit. And on the later holes, we used intermediate step up bits in order to help with that um, process. We actually found a trick that works really well in drilling out metal uh, to prevent the binding up. Um, something I've never heard of before. Uh, it seems to work really well, so we'll go ahead and share that at the end of the video. Drilling into these steel posts is a pretty laborious process. Um, a lot of pressure leaning into the bit and, and just the, the forearm strength um, was pretty, pretty intense. So it, uh, it took a long time to get all these drilled out. Other options for this project might have been uh, to weld these on, um, but these bolt, these threads are uh, this galvanized metal, so it's uh, not advisable to weld that without the proper ventilation, which we didn't have, so we ended up deciding to drill them out. Um, not really a lot of other options for this, uh, but these, these threaded bolts did work really well. It gives you some additional adjustment, which we ended up did, we shimmed up the bottom one in order to make it level, which worked out really well. So that's one thing we couldn't have done if we had chosen to weld these on. We found the center of the post, and then we measured from the center of the post on the top to bo the bottom of the new hole we just drilled, and then we measured on the opposite side um, to find the new center hole. From the top to this bottom hole, we got four foot, six and a quarter inches. We'll go ahead and measure that on the opposite side as well. We're gonna measure from the center of this hole around the pole, and then on the opposite side, we'll measure again and match it up. We've got a distance of nine and an eighth inches. We did a few test holes and then checked our measurement again. Again, this would have been better with a center punch. The normal method for drilling out metal is to drill until it grabs and bites, and then just kind of keep playing with it until it breaks through, and then step it up each bit size, and with each step up, you have to overcome that that grab in the process. Next we step it up to a half an inch bit. As we're getting towards the end of this hole here, uh, this drill bit's grabbing again, and that's where you have the, the risk of a, a wrist snapper or wrist buster. When that drill goes slinging around, that can be real bad news for your wrist. You can see in here we've got two tiny tabs and that's what grabs the bit and prevents it from spinning and makes the drill spin instead. Okay. Now we're gonna move it up to the three quarter inch bit. When we start seeing smoke, that's when the bit tip's getting heated up. We wanna keep that cooled off with uh, something like WD-40 uh, or slow it down in order to prevent that. That's when the tip starts getting dull. Now we've got the first two done, and we've got the gate set on the, the lower post. We're going to find the location of our top bolt, and we're gonna drill our hole. And the way we do that, we're gonna actually use this bracket, and this bracket slides up and down, and we're gonna face our post down, and then the, we just have to have enough room for clearance for that bracket to go underneath it, and then we can slide the bracket up into place. And uh, once we bolt that down, this won't be easily lifted off the gate hinges. Um, someone would have to have some hardware, um, a tool to loosen this up with. Now that we're seeing smoke again, you can see we'll apply some more lubricant.
Can we want to slow down our speed? Now we're going to have a battery break as we change out into our third battery. At this point we're getting pretty low on WD-40. Wish we had another can. This can's losing its aerosol. You can still hear it inside, um, but it's definitely getting um, slow and coming out. Okay, now that we're done with that third hole, we'll move on to the fourth hole, fourth and final hole. We'll locate this hole the same as we did the other ones, measuring from the tops on both sides, as well as from side to side to ensure it's uh, directly across. Using the same method of drilling a pilot hole and then stepping it up in size. Uh, the reason for stepping up in the drill bits uh, it helps to uh, um, keep the drill bit from heating up, not as much friction, not as much contact area, and also when the drill bit binds up at the end, it, it helps to reduce torque and to help break out that last um, piece. So a couple different reasons why it's beneficial to step up drill bit size. And here's we've got that new cutting technique. Okay, so we just, we just pushed through with this bit, but there's still barbs and everything on the inside of that, and it'll grab the bit and it'll make your drill um, jerk on you and torque you. So to compensate, once you get through the hole like that, if you advance the drill all the way through and it's spiraling in and you come to the very end of the bit, go in a little bit further, get to that smooth part, now you can use the very end of that bit to take the rough edges off without torquing yourself to death. Okay, we're finishing up this fourth hole with that large three quarter inch bit. By this point, the drill bit is getting tired. It's cutting edge is starting to fail due to the excessive heat and abuse. It's still cutting, but the chips are getting smaller and smaller, and it's not making the same progress it was at the beginning. To stop it off, we're almost out of WD-40. Could have used some more at this point, letting that bit get a little bit hotter than normal we would, but it's the last hole, so it's not a huge deal. Here I tried that new technique of a penetrating it all the way through. Didn't work out as great as I would like. There's obviously still some room for improvement on the user perspective. Um, but it was better than jerking it around and, and getting worried about hurting myself. That works. Now I'm stuck in there. <laughs> we can see through the hole here to that post, which means we got it really accurate in alignment, uh, which will be perfect. We tighten down the nuts with a crescent wrench, and then we use a sawzall to cut off the end of these bolts. We tighten up the racket on the gate, and we're ready to go. Well, thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was kind of a quick project, helped out on. It wasn't uh, my traditional video, um, but I always try and just do these, you know, random project videos. Um, like to share stuff that I can. I didn't see anything on these metal gate posts, drilling them out or anything like that, so I figured it'd be good to share. I'm sure they designed it for that. Probably. <laughs> we need to YouTube that.